Hey guys, welcome back to Click, and this is M. And today we're doing a special unboxing of a very special Blackberry. Uh, I guess this is supposed to be the last one, uh, also known as the DTEC 60. Now a little background on Blackberry for me, from a personal perspective. Uh, I've been holding off on Blackberry. I'm not a huge fan, never have been. Uh, and my boy Nassif has been on my case to pick one up and test one. He says I'm going to love it says it's awesome and I know he's talking about the original Blackberry running their OS 10 or whatever bullshit it was anyway uh, never was a fan As to this day I'm not a fan uh, and I know he has the um, classic and he loves it but when I saw this one I saw that it was running Android uh, it sparked some interest I was also interested in the Priv but it was priced way way too high for me to test out a Blackberry because uh, as you know, we do have to shell out for these things uh, as BlackBerry does not give us uh, these phones and accessories for free. So anyway, long story short, we ended up on the BlackBerry website. We saw this, it, they were offering a bundle. Um, and I'll put the link in the description below. Uh, so basically you got a case, which is just over here. Uh, you got a fast charger, which is not included, so which is kind of cheesy, but anyway, which was here. And then you get your phone, uh, all in um, included in the price of I believe 650 Canadian here in Canada. So what we're going to do is I'm going to give you a quick unboxing and my initial impressions, and then I'll come back a little while later, maybe in a couple of days, a couple of weeks or so, and give you an actual uh, review of the device. Okay. Uh, so if you hear any background noise, I do apologize. Uh, there's some stuff happening at the neighbor's house. So please bear with me. Uh, hopefully you can continue to hear the sound through that. Um, but it is what it is, and uh, so let's keep moving forward. All right. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to unbox the phone. Now a quick thing uh, about the phone is that I haven't done any video uh, watching. I haven't done any spec uh, checking. I know the basic specs, and I know that they're flagship specs. So other than that, uh, this is going to be a complete initial uh, impressions of the video of the video of the actual phone okay so let's have a look around the box and see what's what and then we'll take it from there so in front of us here we've got the uh, not too bad box actually it's got some nice embossing on the box itself you've got DTEC 60 you've got Blackberry here and then in the bottom here you've got it just says Samsung uh, secure and then I don't know I don't know if that's uh, that's French I believe Anyway, uh, powered by Android, and it says touchscreen. Okay, on the bottom here, I guess you've got some information, the IEMI number. Uh, what else do we have here? I'm trying to get it to focus. Uh, this doesn't really want to do so. Come on. Anyway, just some basic product information. Okay, on this side, we've got nothing. On the top, nothing. And on this side, nothing. Now on the back, we've got a whole bunch of languages here regarding the specs of the phone. And I'll go over a few of them uh, in regards to what's what, okay? So in English, we've basically got here, this is a BlackBerry trademark, DTEC 60, blah, blah, blah. Uh, kit contains various components uh, for each, each or individual for the device, uh, for the country that you're using. And there's a lithium ion battery. The box includes um, charger cap, it looks like a cable and some Google privacy shit. So I guess there are no specs listed anyway. So that's that for the back. So let's get into the box and let's see what my initial impressions are. So pretty stoked here actually. I've been waiting all weekend for this. All right. And there it is. So initial impressions, I guess it seems to look pretty nice. You've got the Blackberry logo and the shield, I guess, signifying that your information is secure. Uh, as that's what this is being marketed as. So let's set the phone aside and see what's what on the inside, okay? And then we'll go over the phone. So I'll just lift this off. And it looks like here we've got the SIM ejector tool, which I'll leave in there as I have many. We've got a whole bunch of paperwork. Start here. Uh, I guess the same thing in another language. Another language. Complimentary 12 month direct. Um, support from Blackberry so that's pretty cool I mean it's always good to have support 
And then we've got here, wow, good look guys, we've got the BlackBerry headphones. All right, so they seem to be pretty decent. I mean, I'm not too sure. We'll get into those in a little bit. Um, and then here we've got a USB cable. Seems to be pretty standard. And I guess your regular wall ward. Okay, again, uh, it doesn't seem to be branded at all by BlackBerry, so which is interesting because as we all know that this phone is actually made by Alcatel and is a the shell seems to be a version of the Alcatel Idol 4S. Uh, not exactly the same, but very similar. It's got similar pass-through speakers and whatnot uh, inside. So that's it for the box. And so let's get into the phone and see see what we think. So right on the front here, uh, initial impressions feel really good. We've got the cold aluminum feel on the sides. Okay, and let's just get this thing to zoom in here. There we go. So it looks like it's some sort of space gray um, bezel. Okay, uh, let's get the screen protector off. Okay, here we go. Oh yeah. So we've got a mild curve on the display. It looks like a very, very ever so slight curve on the edges. Feels really good actually, guys. Feels really good. Let's get the back off here. It says we've got some information. Okay. It says we need a SIM tool. There's a tray there and the tray holds a SIM and SD and then put the tray back in. All right, good job. So let's get that off. Okay, and there's the back. Now the back seems to be like a really dark gray okay with the blackberry emblem on the back looks really nice it's all glass feels great and you can see at the very top here you've got the speakers for the dual speakers top and bottom so let's have a look around and see what's what so i know this is your optional button okay this looks to be i'm guessing your volume up and down okay a little bit of wiggle there as you can see so his quality is not a hundred percent but uh, tactile feel feels okay. On the top, you get your headphone jack and a mic. You can see the antenna bands here. And on this side, I guess this is the SIM tray and SD card slot, and you've got your power, okay? So on the back here, fingerprint uh, sensor, camera, flash. On the bottom, we've got another mic and a charger, which is off to the side, okay? So initial impressions in hand feel feels really good. Um, be interesting to see how this thing actually works. It is my first BlackBerry. So it seems to have a dual curved display on both sides. So almost Note 7-esque, like not quite, not quite as nice. Uh, and obviously the build isn't quite as nice, but very similar, very ever so slight curves on each edge. Feels pretty good. Uh, I am, I am happy so far. So let's see if there's any juice here and let's power it up and see what we have here before we get into okay there it is vibration motor seemed okay nothing too uh, cheesy because usually these mid-range phones or mid to high-end phones have vibration motors that aren't all that uh, all that good and that really lets me down uh, a vibration motor tells a lot about the build of the phone to me okay so it's powering up we've got blackberry uh, android and i know there we go Let's see how long it takes. Um, should be interesting to see. Uh, I know it's a pretty stock build based on the Priv, which I have a colleague of mine has at work. Um, so I'm very curious to see what the, the dual speakers sound like, as well as the pass-through technology. So that's pretty exciting. And I know I figure cases are going to be pretty difficult here, so that's another thing that should be pretty good. So interesting boot animation. Looks pretty cool. Screen so far so good. I know it's a QHD display. Um, while this boots, I should probably go over some specs. So we've got the 1440 by 2560 5.5 inch AMOLED display, which is QHD. Uh, we've got dual speakers. We've got the Snapdragon 820. We've got four gig of RAM. We've got um, <clears throat> a 23 megapixel camera, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, on the back, which we will test out and report back. Um, what else do we have? There's NFC, there's, um, I believe, Quick Charge, uh, which is obviously requiring this little thing there. Um, and, you know, the typical slew of connectivity options for, um, 
your average flagship phone. So this is pretty close, but doesn't carry the price tag. Now you're, this here in uh, Canada, you're looking at 650 and you know, a comparable S7 Edge, which is a 5.5 inch, you're looking at, you know, seven, 800 bucks and then add tax, you're near a thousand iPhone, you're, you're, you know, you're over a thousand. So price is pretty good considering what you're getting spec wise. Now there may be features in the phone that you're missing, which you don't get uh, here, but you know, we'll check that out. We'll see what's what. So, so far the screen, the display itself looks really crisp. So I'm going to have to input my information here and then report back uh, at a later date. Okay. But the glass and metal feel, it's awesome. Absolutely fantastic. Okay. Really, really nice. So I think what I'm going to do is this video is getting a little bit long. I'm going to end it here and then I'm going to start a new video and unbox the accessories and we'll talk about those uh, in the next video. Okay, if you have questions, if you have anything you want me to review about this phone, any comparisons, just drop a comment below and I'll be happy to do so. Uh, but I'm excited to test this out. I know my boy Nassif is because this is my first BlackBerry and we'll be happy to report back soon. So again, this is Im from Click and I'm out. Peace.